Hello everyone. In this uh, second video, uh, we continue with um, uh, learning the basic rules of differentiation. We're going to pick up where we left off on the last video. The first video we did uh, basic rules one through four, and with this video we're starting with uh, rule number five in your note packet, which is on page 17. Okay. Rule number five has to deal with the derivative of the natural exponential function. And the natural exponential function has the form of e to the x, right? So if you're given f of x is equal to e to x, the natural exponential function. And this e is actually a number on the real number line. It's a miracle number in mathematics, kind of like pi is a miracle number in mathematics. And it's equal to 2.718281 to seven decimal places. And it's this... Uh, function, the natural exponential function, uh, gets used a lot in the sciences, in uh, finance, accounting, and other disciplines. So it's an important function in many disciplines. Okay? So if f of x is equal to e to the x, the natural exponential function, then the derivative of f of x, denoted f prime of x, is just equal to e to the x. So the derivative of e to the x it's just itself, e to the x. It's one of the uh, easiest derivatives to remember. Okay. So in our example down here from your note packet, uh, we have the, the function y is equal to 3 times e to the x. And so to find this derivative, 3 is a multiplicative constant. We just carry it along. And when we take the derivative e to the x, we get e to the x. So if y is equal to 3 times e to the x, then y prime is equal to 3 times e to the x. Okay. Very simple derivative um, to remember, e to the x. On the next page of your packet, page 18, okay, we're going to discuss um, the chain rule for the exponential function. Now this is the first time I've used that phrase, chain rule. So we're introducing it here, and we'll be referring to the chain rule um, with some frequency going forward. So I'm going to leave rule 5 up here on the board. Okay. If f of x is equal to e to the x, then uh, f prime of x is equal to e to the x. Rule six concerns the chain rule for the exponential function. I should say the natural exponential function. In the example in our example one, right, we're going to have y is equal to uh, e to the 5x. Okay. Instead of just x in the exponent, we have minus 5x in the exponent. We have an algebraic expression involving x. And you might think, right, from previous example in rule five that the derivative of e to the minus 5x is just e to the minus 5x, just like the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And if you thought that, you would be half right. Uh, but we, there's one additional step when the exponent isn't just x. It's an, actually an algebraic expression involving x. We have to actually multiply e to the minus 5x times the derivative of the exponent. So more formally, in our definition, if I have the function uh, h of x is equal to e raised to some function of x, f of x. Okay? So it's just not x in the exponent. It's an algebraic expression involving x. Then the derivative of h of x denoted with h prime of x is equal to e to the f of x, which 
just like we would expect. But now we have to multiply that by the derivative of the exponent. And the derivative of f of x we denote with f prime of x. Okay. So in our example, in our first example, we have y is equal to e to the minus 5x power. Okay. That's what we're given. So then the derivative, if that's our function, that's, that's our example we're doing, then the derivative of y, which we denote with y prime, remember that's a prime in the exponent, not a, not a 1, then the derivative y prime is equal to the derivative e to the minus 5x is itself times the derivative of what's in the exponent. And the derivative of minus 5x is minus 5. So this in parentheses is the derivative of minus 5x, right? The exponent in e to the minus 5x. And then if we switch the order of multiplication, we have y prime, right? We can bring the minus 5 out front of the e. And we have y prime is equal to minus 5 times e to the minus 5x. And that's the answer. Okay. So, in finding the derivative of e to the minus 5x, right, its derivative is equal to itself, e to the minus 5x, but then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the exponent, which is minus 5. In the next example, In your packet, we have g of x is equal to e to the x squared plus 1. So instead of just x in the exponent, right, we have x squared plus 1. So by the chain rule, The derivative of g of x, which we denote with g prime of x, is equal to, on the right hand side, the derivative of e to the x squared plus 1 is itself. And then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the exponent. Well, by the power rule, derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of plus 1, you know, is 0. So then if we switch the order of multiplication, we have g prime of x is equal to 2x times e to the x squared plus 1 power. So when the exponent in the natural exponential function is an algebraic expression involving x, we always have that one extra step in finding the, the derivative. Okay, we've got to multiply e, whatever it's raised to, by the derivative of what's in the exponent. In the next example, you're given f of x, right, the function f of x is equal to e to the 4x cubed minus 0.17x power. So the derivative of f of x, which we denote with f prime of x, is equal to the derivative of e to the 4x cubed minus 0.17x. And so the derivative e raised to this power is itself. And then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the exponent. And the derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared. And the derivative of minus 0.17x is minus 0.17. So I got 12x squared using, I think, rule 3. And I got uh, minus 0.17 using rule 2.
from the previous video. So f prime of x, switch the order of multiplication, is equal to 12x squared minus 0 0.17. Right, I'm moving this in parentheses out from the e times e to the 4x cubed minus 0 0.17x. And so that is the derivative in the uh, box. That's the derivative of f of x. Okay. And again, I want to emphasize this in parentheses here is the derivative of the exponent up here in our original function. It's the derivative of 4x cubed minus 0.17x. Alrighty, so that covers the derivative of the natural exponential function uh, and the uh, chain rule for the natural exponential function. If you flip your page over to page 19, we're going to talk about finding the derivative of exponential functions that have a base other than the number e. So rule number seven has to deal with the derivative of any exponential function, not just the natural exponential function. So if I have the function f of x is equal to a to the x, okay, there's, it's not an e there, okay? It's a number a. So let's say e to the x, we have a to the x. If f of x is equal to a to the x, and there are restrictions on the number a. A has to be positive, right, greater than zero, and it can't equal one, okay? A can't be negative, it can't equal one. If f of x is some positive number not equal to 1 raised to the x power, then its derivative, f prime of x, okay, is equal to the natural log of the base a here times a to the x. So we have in the derivative, right, the derivative of a to the x is a to the x, but we have to multiply a to the x by the natural log of the number a, positive number a. Now if you look on your calculator, right, there's an ln key or an ln x key, okay? And that's what you use to evaluate ln of a, right? Whatever positive number a is, the ln of that is, uh, some real number on the real number line. Okay. So let's do an example. If y is equal to 2 to the x power, so a, the base of the exponential function, right, is 2. If y is equal to 2 to the x power, then y prime, the derivative of y, okay, is equal to the derivative of 2 to the x, which from up above is equal to the natural log of 2 times 2 to the x. And if you use your scientific calculator, use the ln key. Type in ln of 2, hit enter, uh, you'll get a decimal number of 0.69 something. Okay. So this ln of 2, or natural log of 2, is um, a real number on the real number line. In the next example,
we have f of x is equal to 3 to the x minus e to the x plus e squared. What's the derivative of f of x, denoted f prime of x? Well, we have the sum and difference of three terms on the right-hand side, right? So we know by the sum and difference rule um, from the previous video, we can differentiate each of these terms individually. Find the derivative of 3 to the x, then e to the x, then e squared. Okay. Well, you notice the third term. There's no x in e squared anywhere, right? So that's not, that does not contain the variable x. That is a constant. If you use your scientific calculator, there should be an e to the x key on it. And you put in e to the 2 power and hit enter, you'll get a number roughly uh, 7.389 the three decimal places. It actually goes on forever. Okay. So this third term is really a constant. So what's the derivative of 3 to the x with respect to x? Well, from our rule up here, right, a is equal to 3, and so the derivative of 3 to the x is equal to uh, the natural log of 3 times 3 to the x. Right? I may have misspoke, right? Our base a up here, right, in this first term is 3. a is equal to 3. Then we have minus the derivative e to the x. Well, we know from rule 5, the derivative e to the x is e to the x. It's just itself. And then lastly, the derivative of a constant from rule 1 in the previous video, derivative of a constant is 0. So derivative e squared is 0. And so we're done. f prime of x, the derivative f of x, is equal to the natural log of 3 times 3 to the x minus e to the x. Okay. Rule number eight has to deal with the chain rule okay, for the derivative of any exponential function. So instead of just having x in the exponent, we have an algebraic expression involving x. And so when we differentiate something with a raised to uh, a power involving x, but not just x, um, there's one additional step in finding the derivative. So we'll discuss that now. So in rule number eight, I'm still on page 19 of your note packet. I'm gonna talk about the chain rule. any exponential base function. And so I have the function h of x, which is equal to a raised, instead of a raised to the x power, it's a raised to f of x, right? f of x is some algebraic expression involving the variable x, right? So in your first example down below, we have y is equal to 5 raised to the 3x power, right? We don't just have x in the exponent. <coughs> Excuse me. We have 3 times x. So you might think that the der <coughs> derivative of this is just 5, um, the natural log of 3, or excuse me, the natural log of 5 times 5 to the 3x power, right? Doing what we did in rule 7. But there's one additional step because that's not just an x in the exponent. So more formally, if h of x is equal to a raised to some function of x, then the derivative of h of x, which 
we denote with h prime of x is equal to the natural log of a, right, the base of the exponential function, times a to the f of x, which we might expect um, from rule number seven. But because this exponent is not just an x, we have to multiply it by the derivative of the exponent, which is f prime of x. Right? The derivative of f of x is denoted with f prime of x. So on our first example, we have a y is equal to 5 raised to the 3x power, right? So the base of our exponential function, in this case, is 5. And f of x, in this case, is equal to 3x. So by the chain rule, the derivative of y, which we denote with y prime, I want to emphasize, that's not y to the first power, that's y prime to denote the derivative of y is equal to the natural log of the base, 5, times the original function, 5 to the 3x power. And then we've got to multiply that by the derivative of the exponent. And the derivative of 3x, you know, is 3. Where did this 3 come from? It's the derivative of the exponent. 3x. And then if you want, you can leave the answer like that, or you can um, switch the order of multiplication, bring the 3 out front of the log 5. Okay? It doesn't matter. You can leave it as is. Okay. In the next example, We have f of x is equal to 9 raised to the x squared plus x power, right? And now the, uh, the rule of f of x is different. It's on the left-hand side, or it replaces h of x up here. So the rule of f of x has changed in this example. And so we have f of x is equal to 9 raised to the x squared plus x power. So the base of our exponential, right, a, is equal to 9 in this case. And so to find the, der the derivative of f of x, denoted f prime of x, right, is equal to the natural log of the base, 9, times the exponential itself, 9 raised to the x squared plus x power, and then, because that's not just an x in the exponent, we've got to multiply all this by the derivative of the exponent. And the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of plus x is plus 1. The lighting isn't very good in here. I have to apologize. This is supposed to be an x cubed. My bad. So wherever you see a 2, we got to change it to a 3. So the derivative, this is 9 raised to the x cubed plus x power. So when I take the derivative of this, right, it's equal to the natural log of the base times the exponential itself, 9 raised to the x cubed plus x power. And then I have to multiply that by the derivative of x cubed plus x. By the power rule, derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. And the derivative of plus x is 1. I apologize for that. And basically, um, in order for the videos to look good on YouTube, I'm um, basically having to shoot these things in a dark room. And so this 3x squared here, okay, again, is the derivative of the exponent x cubed plus x.
All right, any questions on that? So that wraps up uh, rules five, six, uh, seven, and eight.